Hi, I'm Editor Taylor McPherson here with News Director Glenn Hicks, and we're talking about a controversial Métis-focused song that's been getting airplay uh, on a northern radio station. Glenn, tell us about it. Yeah, Taylor, it's been going on NBC Radio, The Voice of the North. Um, Derek Maurice and colleagues put this song together. It's called We're Métis. It's very much anthemnal. It's a, it's a pride song, according to Derek. He's been putting it together for the last five years. Recorded it recently. It's going on the air. But it includes lyrics like we pay for our cigarettes, gasoline, and all of our clothes we've worn. Also includes a lyric, we don't get five dollars, and we, are, we pay our taxes on our very own. It's the sort of lyric that he insists was a pride statement about bolstering what Métis people want, but First Nations leadership, uh, Taylor, were taking exception to that. And, and calling those lyrics quite divisive. Yeah, last week uh, it certainly seems like he's comparing and contrasting First Nations and Métis uh, social situations in the song, but last week we heard from FSIN and their chief Bobby Cameron about it. They were quite unhappy. Yeah, and saying that those sort of lyrics do nothing for a united front, do nothing in terms of helping people become educated about what the reality uh, realities are on reserve. So, for example, um, First Nations on First Nations Reserve do get exemptions on critical produce like cigarettes and gasoline and clothing, but not off reserve. And as you'll see on PA Now, Chief Cameron did bring that up and it was quite critical of this song, saying it's divisive, uh, it's ignorant, and doesn't sort of help the cause, as mm -hmm. it were. But you've managed to get the other side of this story. You talked to Mr. Maurice personally and uh, got his thoughts on, on this song. Yeah, and, and, and he's making it very clear, Taylor, under no circumstances was this an attack or an assault on First Nations, you know, as he, as he put it, on, on his status brothers. That wasn't the, the issue at all. He wanted to highlight how the Métis are a proud nation as well themselves, haven't had these benefits, are still a proud nation, and would very much like to have these sort of benefits available to them so they can accept so they too can have the opportunities that First Nations on reserve have. So that's very much his, his point of view. And also making the point artistically, Taylor, that you know these are his words, this is his creation, these are his lyrics. He didn't make those in, you know, in, intended to insult anybody, and if anybody misconstrues the lyrics, well, that's kind of their problem and their fault. It's unfair on them to criticize him for his intellectual property. Well, like all art, I'm sure it's open to some interpretation, but you can read both sides of this story on PANow.com.